Okay, I'm now going to show you how to weigh out enough LB uh, media to make your LB agar plates. The media is uh, in these bottles, it's been labelled LB agar miller, and it tells you the amount there that you require in one litre. 40 grams is required in one litre. The stock bottle is made by 4 media, and that's the bottle that it is contained in. So the information is there if you require it. Okay, to weigh out what you need to do is you need to take a clean uh, weighing boat and place it on the scales or so. Then press the tar button, which is the one down on the bottom there. This should set the reading to zero. See there? Zero, zero, zero. Then take your uh, weighing and since today we're going to be making out at 200 millilitres, if you require um, 40 grams in one, you require one-fifth. 200 millilitres is one-fifth of one litre, so you require eight grams. So simply take the up oh, and weigh. Be careful, as this is quite a dusty powder. Be careful, tap gently. And you'll see the scales going up until you reach... 8 grams. Slow down a bit. There you go. That's gone slightly over 8.1 grams, 8.2 grams. But that's, that's, that's okay. Then take the bottle that you've been given, this, which will be for your uh, uh, making your media in. Take the top off and simply transfer into the bottle. You'll notice that a little bit has been stuck still in there. If you actually put that down, you can actually see that that's 0.2 grams. So now you actually know that you have exactly 8 grams in here. Then place the lid on the bottle temporarily and take some uh, what's referred to as autoclave tape. We have two types of autoclave tape. We have this one here, the green one, or the um, slightly like this, this has stripes along, which when, when this is um, subjected to high temperatures in the autoclave, these stripes will turn black to tell you that the autoclave has worked uh, efficiently. So take a little bit of the tape, that's more than enough, and place it onto the lid of the bottle. And then, like so, and then mark on the top, LB, the date and your name. Something like that. Then add distilled water until it fills to the 200 milliliter line. And I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Okay, we're now at the distilled water. We have our uh, agar uh, bottle, which we prepared just a few moments ago. We say, take the top off and put a little bit of water in, like so. Not too much, just a little bit. Then place the top back on, firmly, and give it a little agitation, which will mix the media in. Okay, you can see the media is now mixed in. Then, simply take the top off again, and don't place the lid against the, lid against the nozzle, leave a little gap, and fill until you hit the 200 milliliter mark. Don't bother about the froth, when the liquid is. There you go. So that's that's now, as you can see, on the 200 milliliter mark there. And that's it. That's now ready to be autoclaved. Okay, this is our autoclave. As you can see, it's made by Astel Scientific. Um, an autoclave is basically a, a large pressure cooker that allows you to use superheated steam to sterilize media and also inactivate a number of enzymes. Our you can see that at the moment the setting says uh, water level OK, please load and close. That now means that the autoclave is actually ready for use. If the water level said water level low, you would simply add some tap water into the main uh, bowl there, into the main, into the main part of the autoclave, until the um, settings said uh, water level OK. So we'll now put in our media into the autoclave and set it going. 
So we have our bottle of uh, um, LB Agar that we um, created. So simply lift the lid of the autoclave. So here it is, lift the lid. And there will be a, ba a basket inside. Place your media into the basket. Make sure the lid is not totally tight, just slightly loose there. Place it into the basket and place it into... Close the lid. Move the handle so that it engages. Go down and you'll hear that click noise. That click noise now means that the autoclave is actually ready to work. So zoom back in again and quite simply press the start button. You'll hear the beep and that means that the autoclave is now starting. And it will give you a cycle number, 1381 it said before it disappeared there. You'll then need to fill in the log book. We have a log book which you will fill in uh, to say um, this is the, the date, your name, the cycle number, and then wait until the uh, autoclave is finished to put in whether there are any problems or anything with it. You'll now see that the autoclave is increasing in temperature. At the moment it says heating to 100 degrees C. So it's about to heat up and then it will go to its operating temperature of 121 degrees C and maintain that for 15 minutes and then cool down again. An entire cycle takes approximately one and a half hours. So in that time you do something else, get some other experiments underway while your media was preparing.